the subject of DJs doing cool things, on the subjects of DJs doing cool things, I've noticed a bit of a trend happening now in recent years with DJs now wearing studio headphones to do their DJ sets. Now, I'm not too sure if they wear them specifically when they're doing like live stream sets only. I've seen a few of them on Hall. I've seen a few of them on this elevator stream thing that I've got here on the screen. I've seen a few of them on Lot Radio. But I've also now seen the one and only Dem Jeans from How Long Gone um, playing with studio headphones while he was playing at this um, indie festival somewhere. I forgot what the name is, but they covered it on the podcast. If you want to listen to How Long Gone, one of my favorite pods out there, you should know what I'm talking about. And he's standing there playing in these, um, I think they're, like, they're so Sony um, studio headphones. I've got what the name of our, what the exact name of them are, but basically similar to the Sennheiser ones I have now. Um, and then uh, I think this guy has, I forgot the name of them. There's, it's like an A brand, but they're studio headphones as well. Really chunky, kind of big. So your headphones basically are the ones that usually cover the cups of your ears. Uh, they're usually quite big. They usually have really nice soft cushioning to allow you to kind of use them for hours on in if you're in the studio monitoring your tunes or whatever it may be. And I'm seeing a bunch of people now waiting up for DJ sets. Now, the one thing that's really interesting about this new trend is that most of the time, studio headphones were never worn like this because they're kind of chunky and clunky. And the whole point of like wearing DJ headphones like HD25s and some III ones or like the Phonon ones that I um, should be getting again because I think flipping Phonon lost my order when I actually got these reordered because I've got another ones um, that I bought from Muting the Noise um, back or that I got given as a gift from Muting the Noise that are fucking brilliant. But I've also got these coming in very, very soon, the all black ones. But the whole reason of wearing these type of headphones, right? And these particular ones, these Sennheiser, um, the kind of classic um, ones that everybody kind of knows the hd 25s is that because they're really small because the cups you know the 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 kind of the ones that you listen to the earbuds are really small the cups on them you can kind of quickly take them on and off and they're usually quite flimsy on the on the strap itself and they're just a little bit more comfortable and easy to use if you're djing and stuff right because you just need to monitor you don't need them to be worn all day long you just need to have some nice direct sound into your earlobe and you kind of move them around and they're obviously easily packable as you can see with these particular fallen ones they kind of flip they kind of got a hinge on here so you can kind of flip the cups in, inside and kind of have them in a nice kind of pouch without them kind of getting fucked up and shit but obviously with big studio headphones you don't have that you know luxury so they're kind of clunky and whatever maybe but a lot of djs nowadays carry quite big bags anyway when they're going places so maybe the need to carry small headphones doesn't really matter because you're carrying a big bag anyway and the sound probably is a lot better on the studio headphones than it would be on the DJ pair of headphones. Because I remember, the, I'd imagine a DJ set of headphones are just highs everywhere. Highs in the highs, highs in the mids, highs in the bass, just to give you that nice, loud, searing noise so you can kind of really hear the difference of what you're hearing through the headphones in through the fucking monitors on the fucking DJ booth when you're there. And maybe they look a little bit better too when you're behind a booth and it kind of mixes up the look because everyone's so used to seeing HD25s worn like that. But the only thing I don't like about studio headphones is that they're really chunky and they usually make your head sweat a lot more than, you know, regular DJ headphones would. So I think I might still stick with mine, but I'm kind of liking this trend. I might have to kind of check out online, not these particular ones because I kind of like using these for my podcast in general, but I might need to check out online to see what the most um what the entry level studio headphone head ones are there's quite a few of them i think there's these two um that they're wearing there's also the other ones that have got like a velvety type of cup i forgot what that what that brand is called um velvet it's like a velvet or silk bud um headphones i forgot the name of them what everyone kind of wears on pods and stuff you see a lot especially the guys in amp that streaming crew yeah that's the one's called um so this one um the biodynamic these I've also seen people wear these behind a booth too, which is flipping crazy to see people wearing these type of things. But I've, I've literally seen people wear these headphones. What are they called? Be buyer dynamic headphones. They've got these really nice silk, almost velvety looking earbud things there. I'm assuming they're probably sweat proof. I'm assuming that's how they kind of wear them. And they kind of look like radio broadcaster all day kind of, you know, wear type of things. Something that you'd imagine someone would be wearing when they're behind the fucking keys or behind the mixing board themselves. But yeah, these big chunky strap one type of things are kind of becoming a little bit more popular now nowadays. Um, I did go to um, the Young VNA and I did see these. Actually, let me see if I can find them. Young VNA uh, headphones. So there's these little cups that they have in the wall. I'm not sure if you can see them. Let me see if I can see gallery, gallery headphones. There's, which I think will be quite cool as headphones to wear as a DJ. To be fair, 
I don't think they have them available here, but I might have to get a picture and put them up on the screen. But essentially what they were were these like headphones that just the cups themselves that were strapped up to the wall with this nice little metal kind of like bendy snaky cable thing. And you could kind of listen to what was going on there. And for me, it was kind of similar to like the headphones that people wear. I think it's like a Phonon. I think it's Phonon. It's like a stick headphone, right? Stick stick DJ headphone like you see a lot of people wearing this type of particular one where it's, it's sort of like the stick thing that you hold up to your ear now I actually wouldn't mind just having forgetting the stick just holding the cup up to your ear like this and be able to put that on the side of your head maybe at the back of the cup having a little divot so you can kind of or a little cushion so you can kind of rest it on your fucking head for, on your neck and kind of listen to it as you mix in because you don't really lift you need to listen to the whole thing in both ears you just need to make sure that you know it's kind of matching uh, beat matching etc in the, in the headphone itself maybe you want to make sure the tone is good or whatever or the or the tunes just kind of you know sync together in terms of a vibe but that might be actually something that i kind of want to develop uh, later on in terms of a product because i really like that kind of thing that i saw in the young vna itself but i'm liking this new trend of seeing djs wear studio headphones as dj headphones out there so big up um this particular dj i forgot his name that was playing at the elevator um set place thing that they're doing now and obviously them jeans as well from how long gone i love to see it i love to bloody see 